can see it's tussling, but still you can see how follower mom is still following me. This season, I decided to do things differently. Farming is evolving, day in, day out. We have new varieties, we have good mechanization, we have so many things that are taking the center of farming to improve farming each and every day. This season, I decided to do things differently so that I can be able to teach you on the best farming techniques, especially when it, came, it comes to maize farming. I've shown you different varieties of maize, though I've not been so specific on the varieties, but they are F1 varieties that I've been farming. And this season I've done a different variety. Way before, I used to plant my maize after the rains have fallen. When it, it rains for a night or two, that's when I, I farm my maize. But this time around, I decided to do the maize before the onset of the rains. Few days before the rains falls, I decided to do uh, my maize. This was to make sure I take advantage of the first drop that falls on the soil. Remember we are told it's very rich in nitrogen. And I think it has given me a big advantage in my maize because you can see after germination, I've gotten, uh, they are very healthy and they are very green. So another crazy, things I, crazy thing I decided to do is not to plant my maize with planting fertilizer. 14 days later, I've not applied fertilizer, but I'm going, I'm coming to apply um, a fertilizer. But this time around, I'm doing an NPK, which is rich in phosphorus, probably an NPK 23-23 because of the phosphorus level. But at, as of now, I've not seen any deficiency in, uh, in, in my maize. This round was left bare for a while. Remember, I, uh, way back, sometimes back when I was telling you about the Ukraine story, how they usually do one season, for the next season they leave their land bare, then they come to the next season. So this is the same, same concept I've applied here. I left this land bare for a season, then I came and I've done maize and so far so good. Back to the varieties. The varieties that we are doing two years ago are different from the varieties that we are doing as of now. For the last 10 years, don't be shocked, for the last 10 years, let me repeat it again, I've been farming and among the crop that I've been doing is maize. I've done, for the last 10 years, I've done different varieties of F1 varieties in maize farming. I've never done an OPV. But like they say, farming or agriculture is science. It's art and science. Whatever you're seeing, whatever you're admiring is art. Whatever has brought it to that level is science. This season, I've decided to do things differently. I've decided to, to do my own research. I've decided to prove whatever I've been doing, whether it's right, whether it's wrong. I've gone for the OPV variety. I've decided I will not do the F1 for this season. And the reason being, I want to do my testing. Before I, I made this decision, I visited a farmer sometimes last season who I met doing OPV and discouraged them not to do the OPV because I thought F1 was, was the best. They challenged me and told me, come, uh, and see the, the difference why they, they decided to do OPV. After three months, uh, I visited them. They were the only people in that region who were harvesting. And I decided in this season, I'm going to do it by myself. And from germination, you know, once you've done a variety, you see it from germination. From germination, the OPV variety that I've done has given me 99% of seed germination. 99% I'm telling you the truth. Of seed germination. And it has just passed the first test. 
germination test because that is the first test. At this age, 14 days old after planting my OPV, it's already 14 days, I've also observed something, something different from what I've been observing from uh, uh, the, the F1 varieties. The OPV varieties is not attacked by fall armyworm at an early stage. F1 varieties, from when I start planting to when I harvest, I usually control fall armyworm three times. At this stage, the fall armyworm starts attacking. And from here, I attack more, more oftenly. In this section, I've tried to control fall armyworm three times consecutively. I've done from when it was uh, from germination, uh, 10 days old, fall armyworm had already started attacking it. Then I controlled it up to this time. As you can see, it's tussling, but still you can see how fall armyworm is still following me. That's why I've taken a different route this time round to see how everything runs when I do the other variety. But now, on the other hand, we have just planted 14 days later, for long, there is no sign of fallen home. I want to give it another seven days. Or I want to give as, it as many days as possible to see whether there will be an attack of fallen home. I, I'm, I'm planning even not to do a control of fallen home. I want to see whether there will be an attack of fallen home because in F1, you cannot be 14 days old and fallen home has not started attacking you. This is the, the, the beginning. This is just by the beginning. Uh, I'll keep you updated. I've not told you that F1 is bad. I haven't seen any variety is bad. Only that I've taken a different step of doing a different variety so that I can know I can know from my side which to continue doing because I've done it for many years now I want to see this I know the experience the past experience now I want to experience now with the OPV and see how it does for me